Hey ladies, it's Amber here. Thanks so much for joining us. Here's Ava. We're going for, yeah, hey. We're going for a walk and I wanna share with you something that we're going through right now because it is horrific. And if you're a mom who's breastfeeding, you really wanna hear this. <laughs> okay, so tip number one and like vital, vital, vital if you're breastfeeding and you're a new mom, do not breastfeed or nurse your baby to sleep. It is like, the worst habit to break for them and it pulls the mom's heartstrings like mad okay so literally our experience um for six months Ava was self-soothing like what's wrong what's wrong girl you want to be in it yeah we're going home girl and you can see the red eyes like this is a prime example of this is not what you want for your child Okay, um, literally six months for life, great sleeper, self-soothe, you know, awesome. Like, literally no problem whatsoever. And I wasn't actually nursing her to bed. What's up? What's up, girl? Huh? And, um, however, things happened, okay? And um, circumstances changed. We had visitors come and overstimulation was in there, in the mix, um, you know, unfamiliar voices so many things life happenings we changed like we moved ava what's going on girl okay we moved we did it to her as well okay so it was definitely not like blaming or thinking yeah all right you chat away and we chat together um it wasn't we're not blaming it's just there was lots of different variables that happened and uh we just take responsibility for it so we're now 10 months 10 and a half months and she literally got in the habit that sleeping in the middle of the night was literally feed time so how i would get her to bed would i'd be feed her and then she'd fall asleep and then literally i was getting what mom was becoming a bee with an itch okay yeah she knows it yeah, look at her she's so cruisy hey so cruisy so yeah i was like i was getting furious i had enough i wasn't sleeping she was waking up constantly it was literally like she took the daytime feeds and turned them into the night it was awful okay and then i said to my partner this is it i've had enough i will not do this anymore i am extremist and um so literally we're doing a sleep training right now and she's sleeping through the night which is amazing part of that program um which is awesome my boobs aren't feeling it though i'm literally still expressing in the middle of the night because they're freaking just blowing up um but the naps in the daytime are horrific okay because she only wants the boob to go to bed and so she's not actually napping unless this second nap which is coming up now because she's so freaking exhausted and probably so hungry because we're not not starving her but we're putting her on more solids but she's not eating because she wants the boob and um yeah but also on top of that guys I also want to share with you that I probably also realized that she's kind of gagging on food and um, that made me do a lot more digging and I think that she actually needs to do some more oral exercises like literally tongue and jaw and mouth exercises so I'm starting to do different things and I'll, I'll make another video on that to to help and share what what works um, but right now one thing which is pretty magical is literally I've peeled a carrot and at every meal I literally put the carrot there and that gets her just to literally play and what to do with her tongue and you know it's, it's crazy so I'll, I'll show another video on that but that's one of the things um, you can do that with a carrot or a celery stalk and that just helps her um, to learn what to do and so so yeah so that so she's not really eating solids um, she's not taking the bottle or the cup from me uh, even when it's milk um, however she takes it from me when we're out so that's how I also get some food in her because I don't want to obviously legitimately starve her um, and then also there is a couple nurse times throughout the day which is one coming up now which is when she'll actually fall asleep after but I'm literally nursing in a different room altogether excuse me with a dimly lit so she's not in the dark uh, which is what we were doing before and I literally move her so when she's like drowsy but still awake that's when I do the transition okay and I, I move her um, so she still kind of puts herself to bed rather than me nursing her and she falling asleep and then going to bed which is what I was doing before and that is literally like don't go through it as a mother mom like 
you don't want to do it. Like it is so hard to break. Like it's crazy the habit and then the cries and ev oh, it truly tests your heartstrings and just like making you have to get unemotional and detach from it. It is extremely, extremely tough. So don't go through it. This is day three for us. Um, like I said, she's sleeping through the night, which is amazing. <laughs> um, but the nap times are horrific. However, tomorrow Mick is off. So dad duty and he's going to do all the nap times and I'm hoping it gets better. Um, we've given ourselves a week to follow through exactly to the schedule of what the sleep program is because if we deviate it from it then we would never know if it actually works and right now it does working for the sleeping through the night so it's just the napping and she is a freaking persistent okay which I love about her because uh, obviously she gets that from us. Oh, but fuck. <laughs> Let me tell you Okay, let me tell you, it is challenging. But anyways, guys, I hope that helps. We're off, we're gonna get noisy, yeah. We gotta go for this feed time, we got lunch. Hopefully we eat something, fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, moms, do not nurse your baby to sleep. Keep it separate, sleep time is sleep time, feed time is feed time. Have quiet time, play time in between. Let them literally be a little bit awake, drowsy but awake, and let them put themselves to bed because, oh, take it from me I'm serious it is hard like seriously and you want to nurse her and you want to have it give it the boob but then that just did like then it just takes away everything that you've put through it and then she'll know exactly what to do and she'll literally just keep crying and crying until she gets it because she knows she can get it if you give in so it's freaking hard okay don't get here to where we're at you don't want it <laughs> trust me hey girl we don't want it Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. If you like what we heard and you need, have other moms that want to, um, or maybe in this situation, share this, okay? The more moms that can know about this beforehand, they don't have to go through this trauma, um, and it can save another mom a lot of pain. So, any questions, come below. I'd love to hear from you. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. Um, I'll keep putting up some videos and sharing with you what works, what doesn't work. Being real and honest, as I always do, um, being straight, and uh, have a wicked day, guys. We'll see you next time. Take care. Thanks so much. Bye.